Hello and welcome back to this getting up and running with Substance Painter. In this video we're going to continue in building up our materials. So let's go ahead and collapse the uh, folder here and let's go ahead and create a new one. So we're going to create a new one and I'm going to call this, um, let's see, let's call this chains. And inside here let's go ahead and add a fill layer. And let's call this steel. And let's place this inside the folder here and let's go ahead and add the steel. So let's go and type steel and we can go ahead and add the steel. Now, again, we're going to go ahead and choose add fill layer. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and call this Chrome and we can search for Chrome over here. Well, it looks like there's no Chrome. Let's try silver. Okay, so so real thing. So we're going to select this and again, we're going to do the same thing as we've done before. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to add a white mask and then we can right click the um, mask and go to add generator. Again, we can go ahead to generate and this time you can go ahead and play around with some of these other settings. Again, I'm going to go with the MG builder and um, I'm going to go ahead and just click random and see what we get here. So what this gives us is um, just some slight deviation in uh, material. Let's go ahead and play around with this and see what we can actually achieve here. So I want to go ahead and increase this. And let's go ahead and do something like this. Let's go ahead and play around with the scratches. This might uh, help out quite a bit. And let's go ahead and play with a grunge. This is just going to add some slight variation. So this looks pretty good. Again, we're going to go ahead and collapse this. Right click, go down to add a white mask. And then we're going to go ahead right click and go down to add mask with color selection once we've done that we can go ahead and choose a pick color and we can go ahead and choose the chains now what we can also do if we'd like is we can go ahead and apply this to multiple different um color selections so say we have the chain here which is great but if we also want to place it on here or say here then we can go ahead and do that too in order to do that all we have to do is we go down to pick color and we just go ahead and pick the blue and uh, now you can see we have that applied up here, down here, and also on the chains. Now, if we wanted to, we could also go ahead and remove one of these clothes. So we can go ahead and select the blue and delete it. And you see that now it has been removed. So let's go ahead and pick those clothes again. And let's go ahead and add this back in. And so now you see we have the silver down at the bottom. now, depending on your artistic taste, you may want to go back through that generator and play around with the settings to get a uh, different appearance. So in order to do that, we go over to that generator and we can go ahead and play around with some of these values so let's try i'm going to play around with this i'm probably going to um let's see i'm going to play around with these scratches maybe that might help a little and the grunge might help quite a bit so we're just basically breaking this up and again we can go ahead and we can keep layering this up we can add um more layers more 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 uh, generators and so on and so forth so with that said let's go ahead and um look at creating the rest of the materials and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to our first material over here i'm going to expand this and i go down to um color selection and i'm going to go ahead and choose add and i want to add this white area over here so now you can see that this has been added so the last material we're going to build here is this one right here so let's go ahead collapse this collapse this and let's go ahead and create a new folder and let's just call this um let's see metal something i don't know we we'll just call it metal and let's right click and go down to uh, sorry let's not right click let's go ahead and choose fill and let's just call this steel we're going to keep the base of steel for almost all of these materials so let's uh do that and we're going to go ahead and look for steel and add this in so let's see oops we need to uh, we did this wrong here so let's go ahead and call this um metal select this one click this in here call this one steel and then we can go ahead and add this now we have our steel and let's go ahead and create a new fill layer and let's call this um Stack, uh, steel, uh, something along those lines. And we can go ahead and look at these different materials. So let's see what we have. So, 
So let's scroll down and we have this steel rust. Let's go ahead and select this. And so with that selected, again, we're going to go ahead and add a mask and we're going to go ahead and add a white mask. Do we do that right? Let's go ahead and add a white mask, right click and go down to generator. And we can go ahead and add a generator on here and uh, let's see, let's try. I'm going to try, uh, let's see, one of these other ones, this particular case. Let's try this. Uh, okay, this one's not good. Maybe the edges. So this will add dust. Nope. Okay, so let's just go ahead and use our builder. And um, so we can get a better idea of what's going on. Let's go ahead and add the white mask already and let's go ahead and choose by color so let's go ahead and choose add mask with color selection and let's just add these in there we go and then we can go ahead go back to our generator and we can go ahead and play around with these values and see what we get here so i want these a little darker i'm going to give this some contrast I am also going to go down to scratches and do something like this. And if we want to, we can go ahead and add a second one. So I'm going to go ahead and add another generator on top of this. And I'm going to go ahead and choose something like this. We can go ahead and lay these on top of each other, as you can see. And you can see that we get different effects. So I think something like this is going to be fine. So now you can see we have this uh, completely. Um, we have all the materials added to our asset. In the next video, what we're going to do is go ahead and take a look at how we can use something like the um, particle brushes in order to add further and more detail to our asset. So until then, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please don't forget if you like this video to so subscribe and like the video below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye for now.